to my channel my name is Montoya all right so in today's video I'm talking about my newest course the Toya skirt which is a flat front and an elastic back so you know I created this skirt tutorial because I don't know about you but I I love I love a fitted waistband because I just like that uh, sleek look but I also like the ease of elastic and you know I was putting on one of my one of my very first skirts that I made and it had like you know the flat waistband all the way around fitted waistband all the way around and you know that was a skirt that I had made back when I was 25 I'll be 30 in a couple months so you know like my body has changed you know like my waist is not the same and I'm not trying to lose any weight just so I could fit back into that skirt. Like, I still want it to fit now and today. So, I'm like, you know, I need to start creating skirts that are going to move with me. As my waistline grows, I need for my skirts to go ahead and move on with me as well. Because the fabric that I use, it's, you know, rare fabric. Like, it's not like I can just, you know four years later I'm gonna find the fabric again that's not how it works and you know my pieces are very unique everything that I create it's like you know a classic silhouette so no matter the time period like my things are going to last because what I like to do when I'm sewing is what I make I like for it to be like I'm going to be able to wear this for years to come I spent my time making it and I also spent my money on fabric making it so these things need to last they need to be built to last I'm all about uh, quality over quantity that's just you know a standard that I like to live by so after I made this uh, flat front elastic back I was like this it this it for me right here like I, I got the best of both worlds because one thing about me is I'm a foodie food is my love language and you know i'll be trying to be you know looking cute with that flat front then i start eating a little bit then you know i gotta take that zipper out just a little bit so i can breathe and it's like i don't want to give up eating how i want to eat like i like eating good okay especially you know when i'm out like i'm i'm gonna throw down you know i'm not about to, one of them little dainty no i'm not dainty i like to look cute but i still like to eat real good so that's what this skirt allows me to do. You know, I can step out of my maxi skirt, looking cute, it's nice and long, cover up my feet with my sandals, you know, so I still look, you know, nice and elegant. I ain't gotta wear no heels, cause I got flat feet. Lord knows my feet be hurting while I be wearing them heels. So I could, you know, wear my sandals, you know, and still be looking cute. So this skirt tutorial right here, this is it. I know I love it. I know you are going to love it. So for my new tutorials that I'll be creating, I call it the Timeless Collection. And here's a little quote that I wrote about this collection. Create garments that are sewn to last through the trends of time and through our ever-changing waistlines. All right, so with the Toya skirt, you can use this to make a mini, a midi, a maxi length skirt. Whatever you desire to do, whatever length you desire to do, you can use this skirt tutorial for. Whatever your waist might be, whatever size, I give the fabric requirements for, for a full range of sizes to uh, help everyone out. And of course, you know, I'm a teacher. I like to create things to make it user friendly for you. So of course, you already know that I have the measurement guide so that it's very easy for you to follow along and you'll have no problem being able to draft this skirt all on your own and you can even add extra touches that you might like i include a part in there where i show you how to add a lining or add horsehair braid to the hem if you are someone who likes that structure at the bottom of your skirts um i show you how to add belt loops if you are someone who would like belt loops you want a sash you'll be able to mix and match this tutorial so many different ways to form it towards your style what you desire to create so if you've enjoyed my skirt tutorials here on youtube you are in for a treat you will be sure to love this one i break it down step by step the platform that i use you'll be able to navigate it so easily so easy friendly you'll be able to go to any section that you desire without having to fast forward and try to figure out where is that spot at again it's all labeled out for you nicely so so here is an up close view of how the course is laid out 
So it is broken down into different chapters. And then within the chapters, you're able to um, see the different videos and corresponding PDFs that um, may go with the videos. So nice and easy to navigate. You're able to pick up where you left off, fast forward through things, go back to things that you need to refresh your memory on. Uh, yeah, so very user friendly and easy to navigate. So when you click on the different videos in the chapters, this is what you can expect to see. Also, when you click on the PDFs, this is what you can expect to see. And you can click on the PDFs and download them as many times as you need to. You have unlimited access to the videos and all PDFs. Head over there, go support your girl. The link is in the description box. You know, I named this skirt after me. You know, my name is Montoya, but my family calls me Toya. So yeah, head over there and I appreciate your support now, all the love that you have shown me on my channel and will continue to show on my channel and also with the new courses that I am creating, teaching the world to sew. That's what I love to do. All right, until next time.